Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader uh nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. If you are brand new to the channel or just an everyday uh, valued viewer, and again, thank you very much for spending a few minutes uh, with us. The only thing we ask is take one second, click a like, share, subscribe, comment. Tell us how you're doing. Tell us uh, what you're going through your stage uh, of your career. I'm sure it'll help uh, somebody else out. So other than that, Welcome, welcome to see uh, and see exactly what's what. So, uh, new week kicked off today. Uh, NASDAQ, you know, nice little res day. Basically, all you can say. Nice little res day. Q's barely budged, down 50 cents on the day. Uh, this is still, uh, you know, within range of the highest close in this whole formation. Uh, names like Amazon, uh, after a really, really big run, NASDAQ, you know, Amazon was up, what, $12, $13 on Friday. After earnings, had an inside day, potential res day, down a dollar, which is absolutely nothing. Uh, Meta, right? Meta was down 15 bucks. Now, before you turn around and say, oh my God, it's down 15 bucks, keep this in mind, it was up $85 on Friday. Again, another inside day. Can they rest one more day? Both Amazon and Meta, absolutely. At some point, uh, I am going to be looking for a daily balance on this thing to kind of trap to go back higher. I do think Amazon and Meta probably in the next couple of days are going to uh, resume. Uh, name like Microsoft, nice little rest today. Uh, Apple, after shaking off, uh, after shaking off uh, earnings, continued, started a building. Apple, it might be like a day or two away from kind of waking up. As you see right here, we're below the 50 day. You see this uh, like kind of aqua line? You see the last time it reclaimed the aqua line, right? It reclaimed the aqua line on a, a January 18th and then put up a run literally from 189 all the way to 196. So that's my point. I, I think Apple is probably like one day away uh, from getting in the top of the range here. Like any close above the 50 day moving average, that's a big, big deal. So I think it's still like one or two uh, days uh, away. Um, Google, you know, Google again, another stock that is trying to uh, shake off uh, its earnings. And you can tell how, how strong this market is. Uh, it got rejected off the five-day moving average. This is another name, same as Apple. It probably needs one or two more days to get back. Uh, Apple, a little bit of different scenario. It needs to get back at the 50-day supply. Google is above the 50-day supply. It needs to get back over the five-day moving average to kind of uh, resume. But the names that continue to go absolutely nuts are these semiconductors, right? Uh, SMCI, and this is a crazy stat, guys. SMCI, I haven't, I have not traded this thing. And the reason why I haven't traded this thing in this whole move here, I didn't know the stock was even alive until like a week ago. Okay. I had no idea because the stock was trading super duper thin. Anything that trades super thin, I kind of leave alone. Like, why am I going to trade names like Avago and, um, you know, Avago and ASML and LRCX when you have NVIDIA? when you have uh, AMD, right? When you have uh, semiconductors that are super du duper thick. But here's a crazy stat. SMCI on January the 2nd was at $287. This is a month ago, guys. Okay, the stock right now after hours is trading 668. That is intense, completely intense. NVIDIA, right? The March to 700. I mean, 700, geez. I mean, the stock right now after the close is trading 697. And the reason why it's trading 697 and why SMCI is moving higher, NXPI, which is another semiconductor that, again, I mean, stock traded 3 million shares the whole day. You know, who the hell even pays attention to this thing? But it came out earnings. It's up like $7, $8 after the close. Uh, is this going to be another catalyst for another run? Uh, for the semiconductors, but, but man, oh man, you got NVIDIA literally $3 away right now. And you can see after hours, uh, literally three hour, $3 away uh, from being at that 700 area. And the crazy part about it is speculation money is so juiced up right now. They're not even betting 700s anymore. They got, they're moving to, to March's 750s and 8s. So this is, this is just an epic, absolutely epic run, especially uh, from the semiconductor names. Uh, another cheapie today. 
Palantir, right? Palantir, they were coming for uh, the $18 calls pretty much all day. They reported after the close. Nice move here. They reclaimed uh, the 50-day moving average after the close. Another name for all you guys who don't trade high beta memes. So you definitely, definitely keep an eye uh, for tomorrow. Even a name like T uh, T uh, TSM, right? Even a name like TSM. And ironically, I think I bought it wrong today. Um, I bought TSM and I never traded. Like Again, it's very, very rare that I trade anything outside of beta names. But I bought this TSM. I didn't realize I was buying this damn thing up $3. I didn't know the range. It went from like up 50, 60 cents. I, I lost about 94 cents of the trade. I don't care about that. Uh, the point is I want to watch this thing for tomorrow. I, I think the problem today when I bought this thing, it was over average to range. So I kind of messed up there. That, that was on me. But this is the highest close in this whole formation. If Again, if the semiconductors run tomorrow, I will give it uh, another opportunity uh, to uh, to go. One trade that was not rallying, right? And, and somebody uh, tweeted out a great statistic from the bear market from 2022. Okay, when we down, went down like 30, 32, whatever it was, 34% on the NASDAQ to the massive bull market last, uh, last year to the great start of 2024, Tesla is down 47%. 47% in that three-year, well, that two, two-and-a-half-year uh, span. And if you guys remember, I was waiting for this earnings low break for the matter of two weeks. Like I like I kept on saying, uh, after a blow-up on earnings, it's not the, the stock is wait, you know ready to go higher. It's just buying time to go lower. And today, we finally got our trade. The problem was, it was a really a good kick save. For all you hockey fans out there, a really good kick save. It gave us a really good move. I went down like five, six dollars straight down. I was like, got down to a runner. I'm like, well, this thing's going to be at 70 at the end of the day. And yada, yada, yada. You know, the stock had a, you know, whoever was the buyer, keep buying, right? Keep buying. What can I say? Keep buying. And people get excited about all these uh, moves in Tesla. And then, and then you realize uh, no matter how strong it firmed up in the middle of the day or towards the end of the day, the last week or so, right? Look at this. High, lower high, lower high, lower high, lower high. So um, I'm watching this thing. This is definitely the lowest close in this whole formation. Again, you had a little bit of a bullish tail here towards the end of the day. But again, I, I want to, you know, I have no really no interest buying this thing until it starts reclaiming back the five day. In this market, anything is possible. Uh, but every single day, they just keep on punishing thing and punishing and punishing until there's nothing uh, really left. Uh, there's a couple of big earnings announcements, a um, couple of big earnings announcements this week. Um, I don't see a lot. I don't see a lot for, I think Lily also came out with earnings this evening, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think that, I think they also came out with earnings. Yeah, Lily's punching up, PLTR is moving up, SMCI up another, you know, 15% today, which is absolutely nuts. Uh, let's see here. Tonight, uh, you had McDonald's. Again, McDonald's not a great quarter, down 3% today. Caterpillar did a ride up a little less than 2% today. Tomorrow you have, let's see here, tomorrow four, nothing really there. Lily, actually Lily's tomorrow, sorry. Lily is tomorrow up 45 points today or 7%. Uh, Gilead, nothing. Chipotle. Chipotle just put it at 10,000 to start from there. Chipotle, again, I don't know what it's going to do tomorrow for earnings. But what was the last time Chipotle missed earnings, right? This feels like the stock just always d does really, really well. Uh, Wednesday, you got Disney and Alibaba and Arm Holdings, another semiconductor name of Disney. You got Uber. And you got roadblocks to kind of get us towards uh, the middle of the week. So again, market continues to be good. Uh, bulls continue to to be fine. Um, you know, tomorrow I'm you know tomorrow and the next day I'm definitely watching uh, Meta and Amazon to kind of resume uh, their earnings moves. Uh, I am watching for any dip tomorrow, potential dip for Nvidia to maybe trap late shorts to get that final uh, 700 push, right? To get that 700 push. Uh, let me see what else I like for tomorrow. Um, let me see what else I like for tomorrow. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see here. Yeah, guys, I don't want. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. Ah, right. I know everybody watched the movie Diamond Hands and Jerk Off Hands or whatever hands you have left. No offense, of course. I say that in the nicest way I can. But this is the lowest close on GameStop in this whole formation. And it's been building a whole base below the 50-day moving average. Again, you've seen what happens to stocks when they lose the 50-day moving average. Guys, for all you guys who trade, you know, you know, the smaller names, keep an eye on GameStop. If this thing starts confirming 
the December lows, this thing goes lower. I mean, I don't know when they're reporting earnings, but definitely keep an eye on this thing. Um, doesn't look good. It just doesn't look good uh, at all. Um, yeah, it doesn't look good at all. So definitely keep an eye on that. So let's quickly get to uh, today's pivots. Again, this was the big one of the day. Uh, Tesla, 182 and 180 if it builds below can flush. I mean, phenomenal move on Tesla. Uh, really, really good move on Tesla. Here's the here's the five minute, you know, here's the whole move here. Uh, took down, you know, took down the 82, took down the 80, just, just a massive move. Uh, six, $7 move for Tesla. Great trade. And my runner got stopped out, but whatever. Uh, anyway, really, really good move on Tesla. We're waiting for that for a couple of weeks. Uh, FSOI never got the 23. Shop never got the 8360. Microsoft never got the uh, 4265. Fast and all, uh, never got the 71. Um, I did a dip buy on uh, Amazon, uh, pretty much break even. It, it just wouldn't, it just wouldn't rally. Um, Snow never got the 219.74. TSM, like I bought TSM, went up like 50 cents. I, you know, I, I don't trade these damn things. I was thinking, right, maybe it goes up two, three dollars. I wind up losing 94 cents. And this was the big one towards the end of the day. Uh, Meta, right? We talk about sneaky pivots. And again, for all you guys uh, who want to uh, try out pivots, again, you know, it, it's not alerts. Okay, and there's no successful trader looking for alerts. You have to be self-sufficient. You have to be self-contained. You have to understand the dynamics of the markets, the the Inuit, the 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 moving parts, the, the you know the semantics of what happens right when the market is screaming at you uh, very aggressively versus the calmness when the market's telling you pull back. So if you want to kick the PS60 theory around to 30 days, guys, there's a link below in the comments. Try it out. I'm, I'm telling you. Uh, give it 30 days. You'll quickly see very, very quickly uh, how and why uh, this could be for you or maybe not for you. But again, it's something uh, definitely you should uh, definitely try. But anyway, here's a sneaky pivot uh, on uh, Meta 465 needs to build. And look at the nice pop, $4 pop here uh, towards the end of the day. Here's the 465. Uh, here, you see this whole area here? It stopped at 465, right? 465, 465. It popped above the 465, gave a move all the way to 469. Uh, before the reversal. Again, that's what we talk about, the sneaky pivots. They're not at the top of the range. They're not at the bottom. They're right in between. So guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. I got another uh, basketball game to head to right now. Actually, I should have left five minutes ago. Guys, have a great night, everybody. God bless. I'll see you on tomorrow night's video. Take care.